A question I get asked often is, how do I pick a Medicare plan that works best for me? And how do I know which is the right one? So there's a couple choices. You can choose a path that takes you on a Medicare Advantage path, or you can choose a path that takes you on a Medicare Supplement path. We're going to talk about the Medicare Supplement coverage today because there's a lot of misconception on that one, and I want to clear some of that up. When we are looking at a Medicare Supplement plan, the first thing to know to empower you to feel more informed is the fact that this coverage is standardized coverage. And what that means is if you are looking at a plan, it's going to be consistent no matter what carrier you look at. So let's start with understanding Medicare supplement, Medigap, same thing. I'm going to utilize the Medicare and you book, which we have talked about before. Um, if you go into that book, there is a section on Medicare supplement Medigap, and it's going to show you coverage A through N. And when we're looking at this, it tells you exactly how and what they pay for and what they don't pay for, what's not covered with that coverage. That's the best place to start. Now we're looking at, with the plan itself, what works best for me. Once we have that in mind, now when we go to shop carriers, we understand that no matter which carrier we go to, the coverage has to be the same. What you'll find is the premiums are not consistent. The premiums can vary from carrier to carrier for the exact same plan. That's how you're enlightened now to know I don't have to compare coverages from each plan because it's the same, it's standardized. So understand though, also there are three states and if you're in one of those, then this may be different. Um, as of 2024, Massachusetts, Minnesota, and Wisconsin could have a little bit different coverage. But if you're not in one of those states, you have standardized coverage. When you're looking at those coverages, once you've determined which plan, now you can look at which carrier you want to go with and have peace of mind. One key factor to keep in mind also is if you're doing a Medicare supplement plan, there's not a prescription drug coverage or a Part D with that. You need to add that as a separate plan. Um, that's a whole other video, but just keep in mind that if we're shopping supplemental and we're taking that path, once we understand which plan we want to go with, we're then gonna need to add a Part D coverage to it. So hope it helps. Just remember, with knowledge comes power. And you got this.